Hello learners, welcome to the video. In the previous chapter, we have learned about the layers of the atmosphere. Our atmosphere is divided into five main layers based on the temperature difference. Can you name them? Yes, they are troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. Now the biosphere is the domain of the earth which arises due to the interaction of the other three domains namely lithosphere, atmosphere and hydrosphere. It is the sphere of life on earth. The biosphere consists of plants, animals, humans and microorganisms. There is an interaction between these organisms with each other and with the environment. The biosphere is a narrow interactive zone between land, air and water. It is in this narrow zone life exists. This sphere extends from a few kilometers under the earth's surface into the oceans and in the lower level of the troposphere. On this planet earth there are various species of organisms of different sizes ranging from microbes and bacteria to huge mammals. All these creatures are linked to each other and in turn to the biosphere that is environment for their survival. Do you people know what is an environment? Yes, you are right if you say everything that surrounds an organism is termed as the environment. Environment means surroundings of an organism. The environment affects the existence of living organisms. There is a continuous exchange and interaction between an organism and its surroundings due to which life becomes possible on the earth. The biosphere is the term used to describe our living world. It extends to any place where life of any kind might exist. The lithosphere interacts with water in the oceans or with the hydrosphere at the coastlines and these coasts are teeming with life. For example, birds, fish, invertebrates and mammals. The land of the lithosphere also interacts with the air of the atmosphere. Due to the hydrological cycle, the warm air rises and forces the clouds to drop their water in the form of rain, snow, etc. which results in the filling up of rivers, lakes and rain for the trees in the forests. All these interactions help in the survival of the living world. There are various factors affecting this biosphere and our life on earth. Large factors like the distance between the sun and the earth. If our earth was far away from the sun, it might be too cold and if it were closer to the sun, it might be too hot. Our earth is slightly tilted and this tilt is just as important. It is due to this tilt that seasons and seasonal climate change. If we talk about the smaller factors that affects our biosphere, these are daily weather, soil erosion. There is always a balance in this interaction between air, water, organisms and minerals. But man is continuously disturbing this balance in one way or another. For example, deforestation is done for fulfilling our needs and it leads to the removal of the top layer of the soil. The surface of the earth may also be changed due to some natural calamities. Can you tell me the name of any natural calamity? Yes, you are right if you said earthquake. It also changes our earth's surface. With the increase in population, environmental pollution is also increasing at a faster rate and resources are available in limited quantities. Harmful emissions from industries pollute our air as well as water, thus polluting our natural resources. We should not pollute our environment and we need to limit the use of our natural resources available on the earth to maintain the balance of nature. So in this video, we have learned about the biosphere, the interaction of different domains of the earth and the factors affecting the balance of this interaction. These are pollution, earthquake, tsunami, etc. And in the next video, we will study global warming. I'll take your leave. Till then, bye. Stay happy.